With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us solve this question. The question says that all elements in the third period have Option A, three complete shells. Option B, three complete subshells. Option C, three valence electrons. Option D, three electrons less than octet. So, in this question, a uh, few statements are given. We have to select correct statement about the elements of third period. Right. So, first of all, if we write the elements of third period, in third period, we have sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine and argon. Right, these are the elements of third period. Now, in first statement it is given three complete shells. Basically, in third period, uh, the elements does not have complete third shell. Right, in third period, the third shell is filled right so in uh, there are no three complete shells in third period electrons are filled in third shell filled in third shell for example if we take sodium now the atomic number of sodium is 11 its atomic number is 11 so its configuration will be 2 8 1 Right, so electrons will be filled in third shell in third period and uh, it will be filled from left to right. So here magnesium have atomic number 12. So its configuration will be 2, 8, 2. Right, in this way electrons will be filled. Then we have aluminium atomic number 13. Its configuration will be 2, 8, 3. Right, so from here. Uh, uh, it will be filled so on. So here option A is wrong. We does not have three complete shells in third period. In option B it is given that three complete subshells. Now as you can see that there will be two complete, two complete shells in the third period. In third period we have two complete shells. Two complete shells as you can see here we have two complete shells and electrons are filled in third shell now in two complete shells if we count the subshells in first shell there will be one as subshell and in second shell there will be 2s and 2p subshell right so total subshell will be 3 which will be completed in third period so it means option b is correct we have three complete subshells in third period that is 1s 2s and 2p in option c it is given three valence electrons so this is also wrong as you can see sodium has one valence electron magnesium has two valence electron aluminium has three valence electrons so each element will be having different valence electrons so this is also wrong then in D, it is given 3 electrons less than octet. This is also wrong. 3 electrons less than octet means 8 minus 3, that will be 5. Right. And you can see that here, each element will be having different electrons in their valence shell. So, option D is also wrong. So, here correct option is option B, 3 complete subshells. So, option B is the answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.